Hello everyone. My name is my name is Squiddy, and we're here today with a ham and cheese sandwich ASMR. Now I just prepared this in my own house. It has mozzarella cheese. It has some perk thirties in it. It also has um, ham with crunch. Just listen to this crunchy bread so we're gonna see how it tastes i have my hydro flask here in case anything goes wrong and let's give it a go mm. 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 oh god I may have forgot to mention that I also added quite quite a uh, extraneous amount of, of mayonnaise. Now, don't get me wrong. There's no amount of mayonnaise you can add to a sandwich to make it taste bad. If your sandwich tastes bad, just add some mayonnaise. Just slap mayonnaise on there. Mmm. Oh. Now, now, at this point of time, I have finished half of the sandwich, and I think I think I like to take a moment, pause right here from eating, and just drink a little bit of my water. Now, my thoughts about the the sandwich, the crunch of the bread is just just amazing, and the cheese. Granted, it's 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 okay. Only thing that would make it better though is if it was a bit more melted. Um. Mayonnaise, there's a really good amount of mayonnaise. Like I said before, you can never go wrong with mayonnaise. And the ham. Ham. It's okay. I have no complaints about it. Mm. Now. Um, ham and cheese sandwich. It's probably the, the most classic sandwich out there. Now, since it is a classic, I think I'd have to say that it is one of my top five sandwiches of all time. Like, you can never go wrong with the ham and cheese sandwich. If, like, your friends are like, oh, I'm going to the store, what you want? And your friend's like, give me a sandwich. And then you're like, what kind of sandwich? And then they're like, I don't know, surprise me. You get them a ham and cheese, never going to hear no complaints from them. Promise. That's a Squiddy certified promise. Granted, of course, that, um, you know, it's not a terrible sandwich, you know, that the person actually knows how to make the sandwich. Like, if you know how to make a sandwich, ham and cheese will always be good. It's getting a bit messy here at the end. Mm. 
But you can never give up. I took a bit of a really big bite. Okay. <clears throat> I have now finished with my sandwich. I can say that I'm in an overall better mood than I was six minutes ago. Another Squiddy certified tip is that you should drink a lot of water every day. Trust me. It will make you overall better. So, okay, so I finished with the sandwich. I made it myself, you know, of course, from my own kitchen. Now I had some bread, you know, mozzarella cheese. Uh, some ham, and of, co of course, secret ingredient, mayonnaise. <sighs> then I grilled it up, you know, no one likes, I mean, I guess some people like cold sandwiches, but really, a hot sandwich will always be better than a cold sandwich, in my opinion. So, yeah. It tastes really good. I'll give that a uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, because it, it was missing some mayonnaise, not gonna lie. Um, texture, texture I'll give that a 10 out of 10, because the crunch on the bread was just orgasmic at that point, and the ham and cheese just so, like, smooth, and like, yeah. And the mayonnaise, 10 out of 10, obviously, duh. Um... Tummy feel? Honestly, after eating that sandwich, you know, chasing it down with some good water, I feel pretty good right now, but I'll give it like an 8 out of 10, maybe 7 out of 10. Because it does feel kind of like, like a filling instead of satisfying. But yeah, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for 